Hans, the ramen reader, coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time, the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. And today, oh boy, oh boy, Vite Ramen Roasted Soy Sauce Chicken, version 1.2, made down in California by the, the Zing Brothers, Tim and Tom. How's it going, dudes? Yeah, these guys did a Kickstarter and they wanted to make like, what's the whole story? One liked uh, doing the hardcore healthy thing, like drinking Soylent, and the other one liked to eat ramen, but the Soylent guy looked at the dude eating the ramen, and was like, man, I wish my stuff tasted that good. And the other guy was like, I wish it was that healthy. And the, what they were going for in college was like, totally complimented that idea. And so yada, yada, and there, there you go. And then they did a Kickstarter and freaking it blew up. They like, did like, God, I want to say like, they made a lot of money. <laughs> and then they made this. It's cool because it smells really nutty and it's really good. I like it. I really like this stuff. I like the story. I like the product. Groovy, groovy. And now we have three minutes and I've been neglecting our uh, religious time. So let's get to that. You might be surprised on a ramen show that there would be a religious segment, but that's what we got now. And this is from our book, Momofuku Ando Speaks, quotations from the guy who invented instant noodles. If you're a Star Trek fan, this is like the Ferengi rules of acquisition for uh, noodle company CEOs. So let's see, I got, I left off at 100, I think. 101, cut rate, comp cut rate competition is good for anyone. Oh. Let me start over. Cut rate competition is no good for anyone. Only innovative products can bring benefits to everybody. Let's turn this down a little bit. 102, you cannot catch any fish if you cast your line in a place where there are none. Number 103. One gains nothing by pouring water and spreading manure on barren land from whence nothing can put forth buds. Number 104. All that one, all that one can gain from market research is the grand sum of data from the past. It is quite risky to determine the future course of action based on such a thing. Yeah. Number 105, what you call market research is a waste of money. I, I can understand the market by listening to just three customers. And number 106, everything has its value and its price. You wanna talk about like Ferengi rules of acquisition. Man, that's, that's like on the money right there. But I'm stirring the noodle, I'm stirring, stirring the noodle. So these noodles, uh, 500 calories, 500 mils of sodium, uh, a buttload, no offense, of uh, protein, uh, a lot of fiber, and uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It, it's like a meal replacement. And then it's got like vitamins up the wazoo. Wazoo! See? See? Look at all the vitamins. Look at that! Vitamins! Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Go to viteramen.com and check them out. You will be glad you did. <laughs> but yeah, they, they, and you can also now, apparently, you can get just the noodles. Like, just the noodle block. Okay. I even have a commemorative special old school Vite Ramen bowl. This is like, this was like a thing that they had if you were like one of the first uh, supporters of their Kickstarter. And I guess they don't make them anymore. So that was cool of them to send me. Thank you very much. Oh, what am I doing? Now, because we don't just want water and noodle, we got to add in our stiff. 
So first off, we've got a big sachet of vegetables. Had a good morning today. I went and uh, did an interview for, what are they called? Savour? 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 S-A-V-E-U-R. Not the magazine, the online. Got a nice, a nice interview with the writer from there. And uh, that should be coming out online uh, in September. So that'll be neat. That's like high-end food publication, yo. I haven't been in something like that in a while. But yeah, I love doing interviews. So if you're watching this and you're like, hey, I'd like to write a story about that guy. Better yet, contact me. I'll talk your ear off about noodles and weird stuff that noodles have done to me. Not like in a negative weird way, but in just like, I've, you know, when you review all these noodles, you end up with like a weird understanding of a, of the weirdness of the noodle world. So who am I to know all this crap about noodles? Uh, I'm, I'm just me. The noodle guy. So one thing they do say on the packaging is you can add a bit of salt to uh, give it more saltiness because the one thing about this too, it's low, low sodium. 500 mils for all this. And you can add soy sauce in, that's what they've told me before, but yeah, all sorts of junk in here. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could grab a pack of uh, chicken top ramen and add half the sachet from that if you wanted that'd that'd do it up but i kind of like the the chicken flavor this has at least in version 1.1 i liked that i think usually they come out with new versions and there'll be like one i used to like better now i don't like it as much and it's just, it's just like it moves around hmm this one, however. Well, it's neat too. They sent me prototypes of 1.3. So I'm going to be trying those as soon as I'm done trying the 1.2. Mm. Mm. See this one. It definitely seems creamier than the other iterations of this stuff. Now I am going to add a little bit of sodium and see if I can cha change it up a little bit. And I'm going to use just a touch of this and see what it does to it. This is Goya Adobo Coriander and Anato flavor. So, doom. I just did that. I added salt for all. I really like adobo. A lot. Hopefully that didn't just kill it. That's the tricky thing. A little might not do much, but you, then you can add a little more. You add too much, and it's soup. That's that. You have to be sensitive to the needs of the soup. this enormous, enormous noodling. Enormous noodling. Okay. Okay. I made some chicken. Keep ending up not having enough time, so I have to like saute my chicken. 
for the show, which is nice because that goes really quick. Um, let's make our, let's spend a little moment with the Holy Slicer. Just a second here, just a moment, just a quick, quick deal here. I'm gonna go a little further. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Where is it? There it is. Check it out. Yeah. These are Fresno peppers. I'm gonna put some of this in here. Just a little. Oh, this one won't fit. Just got to give it a little bit of force. Okay. Look at that. Yeah! So we got our chicken, our spring onion. Now we're going to actually add some... Uh, Yeg. Put some yeg in there. Yeg. Egg. Yeg. Smattering a seed. And a little bit of shichimi. <laughs> Guess that was more than a little bit. It's alright, it's alright. And, and, and some crispy garlic. Now we're gonna use fried onion. Anjong. Can't go wrong. Ah! can go wrong when the bag does that. You ever have that happen with bags? See that? It separates. That, I'm gonna be honest, that really freaking pisses me off when that happens. That means I gotta use a different bag. I don't wanna use a different bag. There we go. That is a complete meal with a little bit more. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Almost complete. Not a meal until we have our mung bean sprouts on there too. There. Satisfied? I am. Uh, that way? Yes. Yes. Here you go, Rotato. Do your stuff. Let's have a different song too.
for joining us on this wonderful, magical voyage through the world of Roman. Uh, there will be more. There will be more. There will be more. All right. Cold rock the party and eat your noodles. Have a good one. Bye-bye.